Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new video. The Brick Inspector has returned and we're gonna review week 14 of Supreme. Man, I am so bummed out, dude. Like, I had some type of faith this week. There's been, what, four or five Brick weeks in a row. I was like, bruh, there's no way Supreme does us dirty for Thanksgiving. Like, it's the time to give thanks to people. Like, thank you for watching this video and clicking like on it because I know you did. It's Thanksgiving, you guys have to like the video. Come on, but I really just am bummed out Supreme's doing us dirty around the holidays. It's supposed to be the time of giving, and Supreme certainly is giving, but it's only bricks. Supreme's that one person that gives you the most awful gifts that you never want, but you have to act like, oh, thanks. It's actually just getting infuriating at this point. I gotta stop with these jokes. We gotta begin this video. Um, yes, go roast my hair in the comments, because, bro, my shit is busted today. Like, I don't know what happened, but... It, it happened or it didn't happen. I don't know, man. I think my hair is a bigger mess than the Supreme Week, but we're just gonna start talking about what's releasing. So I hope you enjoy this video. I have to say, like, I feel like I've been in a slump lately with making videos. So I'm starting to get kind of excited for the Supreme season to end. I have so many videos on the way that are just way different from like Supreme content and stuff. And I can't wait to start doing videos like that again. I'm just kind of getting sick of this whole Supreme season and talking about crap like every week, but let's do it this week. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's begin. So before I start off this video, I want to ask you guys a question about this season. Um, I'm just curious, what was the last week from the Supreme year that you actually like bought something for the personal or you were excited to buy or just anything like that? Because I was thinking about it. Bro, like I can't remember the last week I was actually hyped for. I think it was TNF, which sounds super oh hype beast, I know. Oh. Obviously, every Supreme season has like their down weeks, but it just felt like week after week we're just getting crap. Let's just begin this resell oh. talk or just this talk I should say because folks there's not too much resale for this week which is such a bummer because it's Supreme Nike which is supposed to be one of like the highlight collabs of the season um, they did give us some sneakers that were um, some sneakers I don't even want to talk about that shit that was such a mess and now we're getting some more leather items which nobody asked for did you want a ton of leather interacts and jackets this season because I sure didn't I really think I might be making some kind of rant video pretty soon about how Supreme is just really ruining their own brand with their retail increases their lack of care for designs throwing box logos on everything there's so many just things to roast with Supreme right now but let's roast this week so starting it off we have the Supreme Nike leather applique hooded sweatshirt so for this hoodie I'm just guessing that it's just like a leather logo and there's probably gonna be a leather Supreme on the back if in whatever crazy realm this ended up being purely leather like the entire hoodie I'm quitting dude I'm done with Supreme there's no way there's no way I know they aren't this has to be just a leather logo and if that's the case whatever then that's all good like I don't really care about a leather logo I'm not gonna buy it for the personal but that's like a normal thing to do um, these all over leather items though I'm just dude like just cut it nobody wanted the leather anorak you dropped like last year nobody's gonna want any of these leather items so um, yeah this hoodie it might be one of the better items of the drop just because it is not fully leather I'm guessing it's got a box logo on the back but that's not confirmed what is this black colorway dude like they just tried to make the black super ugly but the red um, as well as the white are not too bad I suppose I'm really bummed though on this colorway choice like what a just awful color not very hyped about this it's a pretty boring like wow you put a Nike logo and a Supreme logo on a hoodie that's crazy but next up we got the Supreme Nike leather anorak that nobody asked for bro like who? Who? Where is the person that is buying these leather anoraks? Nobody wants this, man. Like, come on. I know someone's going to comment like, well, I want it, Boone. And congratulations. Like, this is probably your favorite drop of the season if you absolutely adore leather because Supreme's trying to become like the Supreme Leather Company. Literally, f skateboarding. We just rock leather goods at this point over at Supreme. But um, I'm really bummed about this just because, like I said, very basic. It's just got a Nike logo, Supreme logo, and I guess that's what most Nike Supreme collabs are but there's just nothing fun about this like I don't know there's no creativity in my opinion there's nothing that like catches my eye and makes it original the most unique feature of this entire collab is how expensive it is and the fact it's all leather I also just want to say I feel like they are whoring out the supreme box logo 
logo as of this season. Um, we already got the Fox crew neck that had three box logos on it, which is just astonishing. I was pretty surprised when they made that item because it feels like Supreme usually tries to keep the box logo pretty sacred. And I feel like that's been a very smart strategy for them over the years. Brands like FTP or Palace with the Triferg don't really do it the same, which makes things like the Triferg or their all over print a little more boring. But with Supreme, usually we can depend on them not using the box logo in every single collab. But this season, it's starting to happen. Like, I don't know, dude. I'm just really disappointed with these items. I think it's so basic and boring. And I have a feeling the Carlisle group is really pushing Supreme to put more box logos like this, more big branding. It has to be happening because um, that's all we're getting. Next up, we have the duffel bags that look the exact same as the Anorak. Also, I forgot to say the leather Anorak is a brick, so do not buy that. Um, next up is the duffel bag. I do apologize. We don't have retails for these items, by the way. Where you at, drops by Jay. But it's all good um, for this bag. Definitely. I, I don't know dude of all the leather items definitely like a bag has way better potential to sell and Supreme Nike is a pretty good hold item collab a lot of these items always go up in price like I have half the Nike collab from last season still like in my possession and a lot of those items are starting to pop off on the market um, but this is the only item that maybe besides the hoodie could have potential resell down the line uh, I don't see it reselling right away if I were to buy one of these I definitely go for the red or the white bag I already know the black one gonna have awful branding um, but I will give the bag a pass this Anorex an absolute tragedy and the hoodies whatever it's pretty basic next up is probably one of my favorite items of the collab if you all do remember we did have some Nike earrings with the logo before I absolutely loved those I thought that was a sick accessory so I'm actually really happy they came out with this ring and I might even buy one I've seen a ton of bootleg Nike rings that are very similar to this so this kind of reminds me of that bootleg culture I need some rings on these damn fingers someone's got a wifey me or something but um, I don't know I think these are really cool ring people are telling me it's gonna be four or five hundred dollars if that's the case I'm out family like see you later see you next season because there's no way I'm copping keep an eye on this one in its retail and so next up we got the supreme Nike bandana and I'm about to say one of the saddest statements of this entire video like my favorite item from a supreme Nike collaboration is a damn bandana bro like that's when you know your collab is lacking when I only like the bandana for the personal usually I'm a pretty big fan of supreme Nike like I said last season I bought probably Probably five items from the collab I got the hoodie every bag I got the jacket I got so much stuff this drop ah, like really bro like this is the probably the best item and it's a bandana that's a real big bummer in my opinion this is a really sick bandana though like I actually love this when I saw it I was like oh like thank god this ain't leather so basically anything not leather this drop I'm a fan of so far it seems like um, but the bandana is really cool I would definitely recommend everyone buys one of these because I definitely see them going up in the future next up we got the international headband we've been waiting on this one all last season they're like oh it's coming this week oh it's coming this week and then it just got canceled and so this season we're getting the infamous international headband um, I mean I don't think anyone really waited around for this one just based off the performance of the last headband Supreme did which is bricking so badly like never in my wildest dreams would I have thought Supreme Nike NBA headbands would brick for like under retail almost it's actually pathetic um, so this is probably not gonna do too hot if I were to buy one I'd probably say the black color the green maybe the white not too crazy of an item definitely a good one though to like multi cart it can't be over like 40 or 50 bucks um, so it's a mediocre item a really good multi-cart item though next up is the supreme nike leather baseball jerseys because baseball leather jerseys are definitely a thing um, everyone wants one of those so thankfully supreme nike was like all right bet i would have been so happy with this and probably buying it for the personal if it wasn't all leather because i love the idea of a kind of vintage style nike button-up baseball jersey i love baseball i'm a huge nike fan i guess i kind of like am wifeyed up with supreme so i thought this was going to be a sick item until i seen it's leather like god bro why why is every item leather like this like i don't know i'm bummed about it because that's gonna mean it's gonna be crazy expensive which means i can't afford it so yeah i'm definitely missing out on this one a lot of potential kind of weird with the box logo on the back i wish they put like a number or something i don't know dude i think they should have just done supreme as like the player name and then put like 94 or something would have been better the box logo is just like uh, just so lazy in my opinion but 
yeah, this is probably not gonna resell. I'd definitely give it better odds of reselling than like the Anorak, but pretty much all these Nike items, you're gonna have to hold on to them if you do buy them, because I can almost guarantee none of these are gonna have first day resell. Next up, we have this absolute mockery of a crew neck. Like, I don't know what this is, family. I don't know what this colorway, well, I do know what this colorway is. This is the Reading Rainbow Preschool Carpet McDonald's Play Area. Just cuckery of a crew neck like I don't even know what that means but this thing is just not happening folks like if you go to the club and you're in this like someone's gonna be asking you where your mom's bruh. at because bruh I'm sorry I don't want to roast the people that like this but this is so ugly dude like what even is this I don't even know it's nothing compared to the big letter sweater I feel like this is trying to be the big letter sweater you can never be the big letter sweater though this is an awful item do not buy it next up the faux fur Ushanka hat shout out my fox fur boys but now nah, we got the Ushanka Ushanka. I don't know how to say this, but I definitely am going to buy one of these just for the hell of it. Sometimes I like to just buy the dumbest stuff possible from Supreme. By sometimes, I mean like every week. So you already know I have to grab one of these. And if it's even a debate for you which colorway, you're tripping because that plum muffin buttery pecan pumpkin pie. I don't know. This colorway though, this like rose is just gorgeous. I cannot wait to grab one of these. I hope it's not like $200. It probably will be. Why am I even kidding myself? Love Supreme. Um, so this is a really sick hat. I can't even tell you if it's gonna sell or not because I don't know retail. It has the chance of being super expensive, but if this thing's under like $80, I might go for it. Um, really cool hat, I absolutely love it. Next up, the Mirror Logo Hooded Sweatshirt. Damn, there is a lot of items this week. Um, these are not it though. This is like such an awful, what is a backwards logo? Like, huh? No fam, this is not it at all, Supreme. I don't know what you're thinking with that one. <sighs> Leather pants. Nike Watch Supreme out, yeah. leather pants because every leather pant Supreme's ever done has sold out super fast. I don't know who Supreme is like making their items for. Who wears leather pants? Like, can you guys please let me know? Drop a comment right now if you rock leather pants just so I can know there's someone on this earth that actually wears stuff like this because it's just so confusing to me. Like, I understand your cowboy all black leather pants. Like, that's okay, I get that. But like, these are like sweatpant looking like, huh? I, I just don't get it, man. It's a sweatpant model, all leather. It just, Ah, no, stop it, Supreme. Just time out, Supreme Leather Co. Like, it's all good, we get it. You wanna make the retails insanely expensive, but not like this, like, just at least make a good item. Next, we got the Supreme Nike sunglasses. These are okay, like, they're not too bad. I actually think they're kinda sick. I'm sure it's a really cheap model of sunglass that they're gonna charge, like, 100 bucks for, but, I mean, that's just Supreme Nike at this point. I definitely think this is a cool item. Kinda curious where this green colorway came from. I feel like nothing else is green. I mean, they have, like, little hints of green. Just kind of random in my opinion. They're like, and here's a green colorway for the sunglasses. But this is another item I might end up copping just because it is kind of a risk. Like, I don't know if this is going to pop off or not. It does depend a lot on retail. Um, but they're pretty cool. This white colorway I think is gorgeous. So I might end up fucking around and copping these. I don't know if I'd recommend it though. It really does depend on retail. It probably isn't going to resell right away. I know they make a ton of accessories and stuff now. So I'm sure these are not going to be going for much bread. But uh, like I've said, Supreme Nike is a very good hold collab so if you like to hold on to items maybe go for these huh feels like I've ran like a marathon through absolute crap looking through this lookbook but we're not done yet we got the breed beanie this is not too bad of a beanie to be honest I didn't love the crew neck but I actually think these are kind of clean I like this like sideways definitely like a different logo from anything they've done before um, pretty unique I don't think I'm gonna buy it like I might buy one I don't know it's kind of cool to be honest it almost looks like some different language when you read it top to bottom and then you see it's just like supreme I think that makes it kind of a unique hat um, it's all right like a multi-cart item I guess so next up we have yet another brick but this brick folks can match your brick Ramoa because it does have the black white little like almost spider web look to it not the worst item or anything like objectively this is not ugly but for its retail and like should you resell it no like no never not at all it's a decent looking item though I guess next up the ascension nylon six panel and I could not wait to talk about this because I already know everyone's like oh it's a brick ass hat shit stupid no I don't know bro like are you kidding me these like instantly the second I saw them reminded me of the polo sports or like just the polo sport outdoor um, line and this looks just like one of those vintage caps like I 100% know this is inspired from the polo sport hat so I might go buy one of these I think they're actually pretty sick I actually love that baby blue that's a gorgeous I don't even know why bro I love the baby blue on this might have to go cop one maybe the olive this is a dope hat though in my opinion as you can tell I certainly need a hat but we're gonna end it off with 
whatever this is, some like plaid zip up. I don't know anyone that's ever bought like a flannel item off Supreme. You shouldn't because it's just like overpriced. It's a basic ass flannel, like I don't even know. No resale. So this is an awful week yet again from Supreme. I'm getting used to it at this point. The drop is on Friday. I didn't mention that, I don't think. So yeah, keep that in mind. Best resale items of the week. What could they be? I think this gold ring, like in a couple of months, in like a year or so, will be going for 100, 200 over retail. So that's a decent hold item. Bandana, I'm definitely gonna grab. I think this might be a week where like a bandana, headband, and like, I don't know, the glasses might be a good multi-cart. It's definitely a multi-cart week. And this is definitely a week for people that are better at selling, not on StockX. I forgot to say, the hoodie's probably a decent item. So yeah, the hoodie, the rings, the bandana, I guess the headband Ushanka. There's some decent items, but nothing is really for sure resale this week. It's all kind of a mystery, but I hope this video helped you out with what to go for. Um, might be a brick week. There are some like diamonds in the rough, but I don't think any of these items are resale first day items, unfortunately. So I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Better Boy Boone Live Cop on Friday. Palace Supreme Live Cop on Friday. It's gonna get real out here. I hope you guys enjoyed though. It's Better Boy Boone. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace. By the fuck on the model, in the back with the gang. Hold on, we ain't got it. On my slate, hold on, in the kitchen. Yeah, BL.